We've now moved to the beautiful Bay Hill Club and Lodge, the former home of Arnold Palmer and the current host of the Arnold Palmer Invitational. What we're going to talk about here is the pressure distribution between the feet. So we know that Swing Catalyst will give us the average pressure underneath each foot during each moment in the swing. And so we've created this chart here that shows us the average pressures underneath each foot at different moments of the swing for each different type of club. So what we've done is we've taken 25 PGA Tour golfers and had them hit on average about 10 swings per golfer. So we have 259 swings. And we took the average pressures underneath each foot for the driver, the mid iron, and the short iron. Uh, front and back foot would be front foot would be your lead foot, back foot would be your trail foot, and we have it at address at the top of the backswing and at impact. Um, this chart was developed in order to give people an idea of what the averages are on the PGA Tour. The problem with averages is there's a lot of information hidden behind that average because we don't know what the standard deviations are. And so the numbers to the right of those averages, the averages are the numbers in bold, the numbers to the right of the averages are the standard deviations. So if we look back at our number that we were looking at earlier, 75.9% of the pressure is the average for PGA Tour players of the lead foot at impact. And so, but we have to notice that that number has a standard deviation of 17.7. And so if we understand that the data that went into that with that large standard deviation is obviously going to be quite varied. And so these numbers presented here show us uh, numbers that will give us an average of 75.9 and a standard deviation of 17.7. You can see that there's a quite a wide variety of, of variation in these numbers. Uh, some of them up to 99%, some of them down to 47%, and a whole bunch of numbers in between. And so if we think that these are all PGA Tour players who are earning their living hitting golf balls and playing golf at the highest level, um, there could be something that works for each of these individuals with these different pressure shifts. So it's really important for us to understand which golfers need more or less pressure under their lead foot at impact uh, because there's a lot of variation in the, the top players in the world.